part of the Bergenfield High School marching band. In fifth grade, you choose an instrument. And uh, I didn't originally choose percussion, but I got transferred to it. It was better, and I ended up liking it a lot more. After two years of, of being in the percussion section and not really ever conceiving of the idea that, that he could actually be on the field, as opposed to playing in the front ensemble, which is just as much a part of the percussion section, um, we tried to find a way to work in it. He always came up to me and said, I'm, I'm, I really want to be in the drum line, and I, you know, I, I, I'm obviously not as creative as he is, and, and as ingenious as he is to create up a device like that. The first thing I thought about was building something, like something basic, a little tool or something, and I put it on my arm, and I attached it here somehow, and I got that to work for the parades, but that wasn't really going to work for field shows because in field shows it's really complex, you got to move around a lot. So um, after that we contacted a few people and uh, we got a chin control and I use that now out on the field. So I control with my chin and I play with both hands. I think that Danny has, has really given me the impression that all students can do whatever they put their minds to and that there's really not much of an excuse. So if anything, he made it more difficult for any students to come after him. He brings a positive energy, uh, a work ethic, uh, good musicianship, um, but um, just a motivation for the whole group uh, to see someone whose life has presented a challenge to Dan overcoming his challenges. If nothing else, it just motivates everybody around to step up their game and, and try to be their best. My ultimate goal is to like help other people in wheelchairs, but not only that, like help regular people with any needs they need.